The machine I'm currently on is a server sitting in AWS and it has a Netscope client installed on it. This in turn is steering all of my web traffic to a Netscope tenant that is situated in the cloud. Let's pretend we are a Google house. We use Google Drive, we use Gmail, and within Google Drive, we have a number of files that contain GDPR info. As a use case, let's pretend this Hilton document contains the personal information of a staff member and we urgently need it to be sent to a third party to confirm a booking. The third party, however, is having issues with accessing this via Google Drive, and for some unknown reason, email is also blocking it. So the employee in this instance registers for one of many free cloud storage apps there are out there. In this case, we will use Box, and they use their employee's credentials to sign up for this. They then upload the file to this unsanctioned application, they share it with the third party, and all seems fine. Is it fine though? As in this example, they not only opened themselves up to further risk by using their work credentials to register for this application, but they have also essentially breached multiple GDPR policies as the file is now out with the control of the company and they have no visibility of it. So how can we close such data exfiltration points using Netscope? Let's start by logging into our Netscope cloud portal. As always, we are using Okta to centralize our user management for the tenant and to provide us with MFA. And this should be standard with any public facing login page like this. In our policies page, we could go the secure web gateway or CASB route and completely block every single unsanctioned cloud storage app there is. We could block this based upon domain or by way of the risky activities that users may be performing when accessing the app or site, but this is a little too strict. In this example, we're creating a policy that is going to block uploading, posting, editing, or creating any file that exists in a cloud storage app or website. As we are a Google house, we would then need a counteracting policy that allows these activities within Google Drive. But this is not ideal though, as it may negatively impact how we interact with our customers or suppliers who rely on third-party apps that we don't necessarily sanction. So it is far too strict a policy for us to limit these activities or access to these applications or sites. Instead, we want to enact our policy based upon the actual content of files, and in this example, based upon GDPR information. So instead of a web access or cloud app policy, we want to create a Netscope DLP policy. As previously, we want this DLP policy to block the movement of GDPR information to unsanctioned cloud apps so we choose cloud storage as our overall category. But with the DLP policy option, we get to choose a profile for what Netscope is going to check that content against. For this, we are going to choose the out of the box GDPR profile. We again in turn have to create a counter policy for Google Drive since we class this as sanctioned and trust it to contain GDPR info that users are allowed to upload or download to that particular application.
With our DLP policies in place, we return to Box and we try to upload our document that contains the GDPR info. And as you can see, this is now blocked. Netscope has read the document in real time. It has identified that it contains GDPR information, checked that against our profile on our policy, and it has stopped the user in their tracks from uploading it. To demonstrate this further, let's quickly create a file that contains no GDPR information and try to upload this instead. As can be seen, this is allowed. Hence, Netscope is checking this content in real time and taking action based upon our real time content aware DLP policy. This is all well and good when it comes to text based documents. So let's take it a little further by asking Netscope to inspect an image based upon their advanced DLP offering. In Google Drive, we have a mock ID card that contains GDPR info, but this is located in an image. It is not contained in a text-based form. With the policy that we just created, Netscope will actually allow me to download this image and upload it to Box, as our current configuration is only looking at text-based documents. Hence, I could get around this policy by taking a screenshot of the document and uploading that instead. Returning to Netscope, we are therefore going to create a policy that will also inspect images for identifying information. I've previously created what is known as a fingerprint of the ID card in question, and I've created a DLP profile within Netscope telling it that should Netscope see this kind of image again with an 85% match threshold, then I want it to use its optical character recognition style technology to read the image and take action if there's a match and block this from being downloaded from Google Drive. When this policy is saved and synchronized, we return to Google Drive, we try to download the image, and we find that we are blocked. If you wish to know more about Netscope and how it can assist your organisation in today's SASE and cloud-based world, then please get in touch with us at info at And thank you for watching.